Hi everybody, today I'm going to be making a bandsaw vase. Or I guess if it's fancy enough you could call it a bandsaw vase. <laughs> but I went out to Home Depot and I got a Western Red Cedar 2x4 and cut it down into two 10 and a half inch pieces. And I've also got some southern yellow pine pallet wood that's about 3 8 inch thick. And I'm going to use this to uh, sandwich it between the western red cedar to give the vase a nice stripe detail. And I've never done this before, so the process is going to be very similar to making a bandsaw box, except I'm hoping to uh, end up with a vase. I used Microsoft Visio to draw this diagram, and I first started with a rectangle that's the size of my 2x4 pieces. And then I just drew kind of a curvy vase shape within that. And I'm going to cut kind of a V uh, notch up at the top uh, that will be decorative. And the dashed lines here represent the interior cuts I need to cut out the middle so it's hollow. I'm going to start by gluing up this block of the western red cedar with the southern yellow pine in between. So here's the block. I was real careful to glue it up so that one side was uh, pretty smooth all the way across so the boards were even. So now what I want to do is uh, cut this board in half this way and glue in this other piece. Two of the sides of the block are pretty flat, so I'm just going to use my table saw to cut off the little piece of 3 8 inch pine that is sticking out out of these two sides. I attached two copies of my template to this block with spray adhesive, one on this side and one on that side. And I was careful to line up the center line with that strip of pine that runs down the middle. So I think the first cuts I want to make are this V detail at the top from both sides and then I'm going to slice off the bottom so it's nice and even. The next two cuts I'm going to make are along these dotted lines on each side all the way through the block so that that will cut off the sides and then I can turn the block 90 degrees and scoop out the middle of the vase. Alright, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I just cut the two sides off the vase and this side has my template on it. So I'm going to set these aside for now and turn the vase sideways and what I need to do is scoop out the center of the vase to create that hollow area where flowers go in. So all I'm going to do is take an extra copy of my template and use the spray adhesive to attach it to this curved side and that will give me some lines to go by when I scoop out the middle. Since this bottom surface is curved, I taped on a flat piece of scrap so that when I cut it on the bandsaw, it rests securely on the table. So let's cut it out. Alright, I've got 
the middle cut out of the vase and this part looks pretty cool. I might have to use it for something else later. But what I need to do next is take the middle part of the vase and glue the two sides back on. So let's glue it up. Okay, I've got the sides glued on and I was real careful about lining all the joints up so they line up evenly and smoothly. And I've got it clamped up and I'm going to let this dry before moving on to the next step. And of course it's at this point that I realize I totally screwed up. <laughs> uh, if you're going to make one of these yourself, make sure you sand the inside of the vase before you assemble it. Uh, I'm not too worried about it though. My bandsaw, it cut pretty smoothly and I think I can reach in there pretty good and sand the inside from the top of the vase. So let's let this dry and come back and finish it up. I've got the vase out of the clamps and I cleaned up any glue squeeze out with the chisel. So now I just need to cut out the final shape of the vase. It's going to require that I make two cuts on this side along the solid lines that form the shape of the vase. And then I need to turn it 90 degrees and make two cuts on this side along the solid lines and that's going to give me the finished shape of the vase. Now I need to make the final two cuts to finish this vase, but once again I sliced off my template. So I'm going to tape both sides back onto the vase with packing tape, and that way I'll be able to turn it 90 degrees and finish my last two cuts. I'm going to finish the vase with several coats of this deft clear wood finish gloss lacquer. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Remember the smaller vase uh, that was the cutoff from the inside of the bigger vase? Let's go ahead and finish that too. Well here's the finished vase and I really like how this turned out. This pine stripe really pops against this western red cedar. And I not only got one vase, I got two. <laughs> that was totally unexpected to be able to get a second smaller one out of the cutoff from inside the larger one. Uh, these are going to make great Valentine's Day gifts for my wife and my daughter. If you enjoyed watching me make this project, please click the like button. Also, I really enjoy responding to your comments, so please leave a comment or question below. And also, if you'd like to make one of these yourself, visit my website at thecarbicleworkshop.com where I have free plans posted. Uh, if you do make one, please send me a picture, I'd love to see it. Also check my website for links to my other social media pages such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Keek, Tumblr, Pinterest, and I also have an Etsy store where you can purchase some of the projects that I've made. So check that out as well if you'd like to support me and my shop. So I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.